Hi everyone, this is Angela here with the Center for Accessible Living and today we are going to talk about how you can do a click list order from Kroger to where you can rather have your groceries delivered or you can go and pick them up at Kroger without having to go inside. So the first thing is, is if you're going to have to create an account, if you don't already have one at Kroger.com, um, as you can see up here at the top, this is the website. It's www.kroger.com. You go over here to the right-hand side, and you just hover over it, go down, click Create Account. And so then you're going to have to fill in this information. And I'm going to go ahead and do it with you just so that you see what it's like. And this is a password that you need to enter for the Kroger account. It's not going to be um, one that you've already made. Here, if you already have a Kroger card or you know your alternate ID, which is usually your phone number, you can enter it here. If you don't have one, you can leave it blank. I uncheck these. You can always keep them checked if you want. This first one, send me emails with coupons, deals, and more. Kroger will send you emails that tell you about their sales and with their coupons. This one, purchase-based advertising. That means that anyone who wants to advertise with Kroger can send you an email. You do have to agree to the terms and conditions and the privacy policy. And then you want to click Create Account. So... Now, you've created it, and you need to set it up. You can enter your mobile phone number. Um, this is where they would text you about any orders that you may put. I'm going to skip this step. An alternate ID. If you don't have a plus card, you can enter your alternate ID in store, and it fuels centers to earn savings. Usually, this is your phone number. Um, a lot of people use their phone number. I'm not going to do one, so I'm going to click skip. And then here's where you would enter your address. This is where we'll send your delivery and ship orders. So you want to make sure to fill this in as well, and it will save all of that information for you to where you don't have to enter everything in again. So you done it. You clicked finish, and now we're all set. You click start shopping. So, how are we going to shop? Do we want to pick it up at the store or have it delivered? If you want to pick it up at the store, you want to enter your zip code and search. And click change store. And so, this shows you where you can pick up groceries. All of the Kroger's are here, starting with the one that is closest to your zip code and where you live. So let's say that I don't want to pick it up. I want to have it delivered. You can click back and click start shopping for delivery. Before I do that, I want to make sure that I have any coupons that may be on here so you can go up here to digital coupons and it's going to list all of the coupons that Kroger has available right now you say you do want to clip this coupon that you're going to buy this planners product you would clip and then you could shop all items and this well it's saying that one's not available so let's try this one there we go. So this last one, the planners, there's none available at my store. Um, or there's none available for delivery, rather. So instead, I've clipped this Kroger Colgate Sensitive toothpaste one. And then I, I clicked uh, Shop All Items. And now we can see which ones are available. So the coupon is, you can save $2 on one. So I'm going to choose this one because it's just the cheapest. Then you want to scroll back up. Click the X. 
let's say you do want to, you need cereal. So you're going to click this coupon, click shop all items, and then find the cereals that you want. I know the coupon is you save a dollar on two Big G cereals. So you, I want to get two of them. Uh, my kids love this one, so I'm going to choose that one. And Lucky Charms. Two out of two items have been added. I'm going to scroll back up and click X. And that's kind of what you want to do with the coupons. It's the easiest way to make sure that you're buying things that you, you, you can use a coupon with. So here's another one. Let me clip this one. I'm going to shop all items. And I'm just left clicking on all this stuff. And then I'm going to scroll down and add this to my cart as well. And then I'm going to scroll back up, X to close it out. Let's say you need something that is not listed, like milk. So I have typed in milk in the search box, press enter. And here we go. Here's my milk options. I am going to add 2% because that's what we drink. And then I'm going to add a second one. So right here where the plus and minus signs are, you can choose how many of a specific item you need. So I'm going to make sure I have two. We drink a lot of milk. Uh, my kids use quite a bit. And then let's say you need bread. I'm going to search for bread. I typed it up here in the search box. You can search for anything. Um, but this time I'm doing bread. Here is the honey wheat. That is what we prefer. I'm going to add that to my cart. Now, let's say that you want to see, I've already, as you can see, this is where your shopping cart is. This is, this is as if you had a shopping cart and you were putting your items in it, right? So up over here, it shows I have seven items in my cart. But I want to see what's on sale this week. So I'm going to choose the weekly ad because I want to be able to look at what's on sale. And then, so you're able to look at all this while your, your shopping items are still there. You can go in here and look. Now you can add it to a shopping list if you want, um, but I'd, I don't really find that that's very helpful. So let's go back to digital coupons and see about, oh, here's some for eggs. Let's clip that. Always need eggs. Shop all items. I'm going to add that to my cart as well. And so what you want to do is for everything that you need, let's say you need canned tomatoes. Type it in the search box, hit enter, and it's going to search for it. And I am going to get some petite diced tomatoes. Maybe I'm making chili. And I'm going to put three in my cart. And as you can see, everything that I'm adding is going into this cart up over here. So let's say, let's stick with the chili. I need chili seasoning. Let's pretend I don't have any at home and I need it. So I searched for it. I just typed in the chili seasoning. And then you can find all of this. Now, you may want need to keep scrolling down to find what it is that you're looking for. If you like a particular brand or, you know, if you just want to compare prices to see which one's going to cost you the least amount. Now, the only things that you're going to be able to add into your cart are going to have the blue tab and it says add to cart. Like this item is unavailable. So I'm just going to add chili powder. That should be enough of that. Let's say I need chili beans. I'm going to do a search for them. Here we go. Here's Kroger beans in store only. So that means that you can only go and pick it up, that you cannot order this online to have it delivered. And then here's what I normally use is the Brooks, but I use the mild beans. So I'm going to add two of those to my cart. 
Let's say you need some produce. Let's look for a green pepper. Then go all the way up here to the top, and here you go. You can see that you can even get produce delivered to you. So I'm going to add two of these to my cart because I love chunky chili. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's say you also need toilet paper. It's bringing up 83 results for me of toilet paper that can be delivered to my home. So I'm going to choose this one, and then it's going to be added to my cart. And it shows you here that it's delivering to my zip code. This is where I'm at. And let's take a look at our cart now. I have 17 items. And this shows you what are in your delivery carts, right? So you can click show all items and go through here and make sure that this is stuff that you were meaning to add. And we see all of my chili stuff that I got. And then let's say you're here and you're like, oh, I forgot onions. Gotta have onions and chili, right? So I'm gonna do a search for them. I just went straight up to the top and typed in onions. And then I'm going to add the yellow onions. And you go over here again to your cart. You just click on it. And show all items. Oh, and there's my yellow onions now. So I've got onions and, and my pepper, my beans, my seasoning, my tomatoes. And here's some crackers. So I have everything I need just about for chili. The rest, let's say I have at home. Need to add address before checking out. Okay, so add your address. But if you did the part earlier, um, when you set up your account, you wouldn't have to do this. That would just be already populated for you. I'm just gonna type in a fake address just to kind of give you a clue um, where you would need to go. So each one, you just click, type in your address, type in your city, type in the state and your zip code, and then save and continue. And then it shows you that it is delivering to this address. And then your shipping summary, because this item is going to be shipped to me while this I, these items are going to be delivered within hours, it shows you. I am allowing substitutions for out-of-stock items. You don't have to do that. You can uncheck that. Just click it. And that means that if an item is out of stock, they're just not going to include it and you won't be charged for it. So let's go out over to here. I've got 17 items. The estimated total is $43.43, and that is before any coupons, okay? It shows sell prices, but it's without coupons. So let's click Checkout Delivery, and then this is the screen you come to. So today's date is January the 13th. If you wanted it done tomorrow, you could do it for tomorrow. And then you've got times that you can select. Let's say you know that you have a, a doctor's appointment at 9 a.m. You're not going to be home until after 11. Okay, so let's click reserve 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And then over here, you can choose if you want them to just leave your bags at the door. You don't have to be there. They don't have to hand it to you. Uh, that's really good because of COVID. That way you don't take the chance on, um, you know, getting COVID from someone you may not know. Or let's say that you have COVID and you're, or possibly have COVID and you are quarantining. You would want to press, I accept that I do not need to be present when they deliver it. You accept and continue. And then it authorized an Instacart account 
for me automatically. Continue to payment. And then you would want to enter in all this information. Okay, so this is location and time. Delivery. It's going to cost me $9.95 to have this delivered to my address tomorrow between 11 and 1 p.m. This is where my name, my phone number, and you can check this box to where you can receive text message updates about your order. This is... This means that when they leave with your order, you're going to get a message saying um, your delivery has left the store and is on its way to you. Down here's your payment options. You would want to click add credit or debit card. And it's going to pop up this other screen for you to enter in all this information in. And then you go over here. This is the summary. So I have 17 items. For tomorrow's date, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., this is the cost of the groceries, this is the cost of delivery, and a tip amount for the person delivering your groceries to you. You can go here and change it if you want because 100% of tips go to your delivery person. So I'm always pretty generous um, if I can be. If you can't, that's okay. You can do none if you really need to. If you're on that tight of a budget, it did say none. Um, but just think, I mean, somebody's, that's somebody's job is delivering your groceries. So I always make sure, let's say I just click 15%. And then you can choose to do this if you want. Send me deals. I'm not going to do it. And then you would click submit. And that would place your order and send you an email. And that email would have the information that you need. But I'm not going to do all that because I really don't need these groceries. So I'm going to go back. And I'm going to go back again until we're here. And then I'm going to go up here. Let's say you want to pick your order up. You don't want to have it delivered. Say you don't want to pay the $10 fee, which I understand. You can have Kroger get your item ready, your items ready for you, and then you just go up, you park in a parking spot, and you give them a call and say, my name is Angela Davis, I'm in parking spot number two, and they will bring it out to you. So, this is my closest Kroger. I'm going to click start shopping. So, now because it did that, I don't have anything in my pickup cart, but I can go down here and say, I, you know, I was going to do the delivery, but I don't have that extra $10 to spend. So I'm going to change to pickup. And then now it's showing me that all of these items are now in my pickup cart. And then I'm going to go over here. Check out pickup, and you're going to kind of do the same things. You're going to schedule a date. I'm going to say I'm going to come get it today between 4 and 5, and then continue on to your payment. And you do the same thing again, and see, pickup is free. So that's saving me $9.95 just by going up there and waiting in my car. And they'll put it in your trunk, take everything care, you know, take care of everything for you. I'm going to go back because I am not going to actually be picking anything up. And again. So, no matter how many items you're needing, you can keep adding to your cart if you need to. Okay? So, I've got 18. But let's say I decide, well, you know what? I'm going up there anyways. Let me see if they got anything else on sale that I want. Or that I maybe that you need that you decide to go ahead, uh, you know, and make sure to add coupons. Any coupons that you think you're going to need, I would go ahead and add them. Um, if you don't use them, they stay there. They don't go away until you use them. 
Um, but let's say I forgot, oh man, I need to go ahead and get some cat food. Let me search for it. And I'm just going to add this one to the cart. So now I've got another one. If you need cat litter, you can search for it. Add it to your cart. And as you can see, my numbers have went up. So anything that you need that Kroger carries, if you search for it, you're going to be able to add it to your cart and go and pick it up. See, here's cream cheese. So <clears throat> either way, rather you are going to pick it up or you're going to have it delivered. If you do need to change it, right here, there's the arrow button. You click it, and this is your options. You know, you pick up, delivery, or ship. Shipping means it's not coming from your local Kroger. It can be coming from their, their major warehouse. And then, let's say that I finished my order. I've submitted it to be picked up, and now this is at zero. Make sure you sign out if you're on a public computer, which you're probably not, but just in case, you want to make sure to sign out. And that means that next time, you'll sign back in, and it's the same information that you would use previously to create the account. Well, I hope that this has helped everybody and that you're able to get you a click list order in. If you have any questions, please leave some comments and we'll try to answer them the best we can. Take care.